Welcome to lesson 2.5, subtracting integers on a number line. So in this lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do it on, to subtract integers on a number line. You'll notice that we know that adding integers on a number line was very easy. So the really, the only thing that's changing here is that we're going to have you take and rewrite the question, adding the opposite. So let's just go back and do a quick review of what we did in number 4, or sorry, 2.4. We learned that to subtract integers, what you had to do was add the opposite. So the positive 4 you see here stayed the same. And the negative, positive 6 became a negative 6, and this plus become, became an adding. So positive 4 minus positive 6 became positive 4 plus negative 6. So then you had to draw a positive 4 right here. You had to draw a negative 6. You had to cancel. It would tell me what was left over and put it into a format which is symbolic. Now what we're going to do is the same thing. You're going to still do this step right here. You're still going to have to add the opposite. But instead of using the tiles like we did, we're going to go right to a number line. And you'll number, you know from before in the past lesson it was actually very easy to do. So let's do the same question. So I've got positive 4 minus positive 6. You're going to rewrite the question, positive 4 plus negative 6. Remember that when you're doing a positive, you move to the right. And when you're doing a negative, you move to the left. So in this case, you're going to be starting at 0. You would move positive 4, sorry, 4 units to the right. So we'd go like 1, 2, 3, 4. That would get you to this location. That's your first integer. Once you ha you're at that location, you're at the 4, the next step is to do the adding of the negative 6 right here. So the negative 6 now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which leaves you at negative 2. Okay. So again, like we did, you start at 0. You're going to do the positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That puts you at the positive 4. And then you're going to do the negative 6, which is going the other direction, and get you down to the negative 2. Okay. Let's try another question and have you do some practice. So first off, negative 1 minus negative 3. You have to rewrite it by adding the opposite. Now remember, the negative 1 does not change. The adding comes from this here. And the opposite is an opposite integer. So I've got negative 1 plus positive 3. So starting at negative 1, and I'd like you to pause the recording and try this one and see if you can remember how to do it from the last lesson. All right, so to locate negative 1, you're going to start at the 0, and you're going to move 1 negative to the left. Okay, so here we go. It would be like this. Boom. So now you're at the negative 1. Now you're going to add positive 3 by moving 3 units to the right. Okay, so we are now here. We've gone there. Our next unit is 1. Our next movement is here. And 3 units to the right. And the answer then is positive 2. You'll probably put them all in one number line. All right. Let's go to the next question. All right. So now you're on your own. Negative 4 minus positive 2. Rewrite the question. Add in the opposite. See if you can fill in the blanks and solve the question. So pause the recording and do this. Okay. So rewriting the question. Negative 4 does not change. We are adding the opposite of a positive 2, which is a negative 2. So you're going to start at the 0, and you're going to move 4 units to the left, and that will get you to the negative 4. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, then you're going to move 2 units to the left again, because this is still a negative. So 1, 2. Now you notice I've moved underneath the line there for the second one. Here is your negative 4. Here is your negative 2. Final answer is negative 6. Okay? Let's have you try the next example, please. Pause the recording and do positive 4 minus negative 5. Okay, so we write the question. You should have positive 4. That one doesn't change. Add the opposite. That's a positive 5. Starting at the 0, you're going to move 4 units to the right. And that's going to look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to get us to positive 4. 
then you're going to move five units also to the right because we're also we're adding a positive number here. So on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. That gets me to here. So your answer is positive nine. All right. Moving on to the next question. Actually, there is no next question. So let's do a couple more examples, and then uh, we'll get you going on the assignment. So here's our number line. I'd like you to do negative 8, subtract negative 6. Pause the recording and do this question. Okay, so negative 8 minus negative 6, first thing you need to do is to add the opposite. The negative 8 does not change. Positive 6 is what you're adding. So now you're going to do negative 8 from the 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That gets me to the negative 8. And now positive 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's my answer. Positive 6, and your final answer is negative 2. Okay, let's have you try another one. Negative 3, subtract negative 7. So pause the recording and do this question. Okay, so first off, you have to add the opposite. So negative 3 adds to a positive 7. The first integer is negative, so you're going to go left, and you're going to go 3 units. So 1, 2, 3, that gets me to my negative 3. Then I'm going to go five, sorry, 7 units to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Final answer, positive 4. So how am I going to mark this? Negative 3, positive 4, final answer. And, of course, add the opposite. All right. So if you have any questions, rewind the, the uh, recording and watch it again. If you still have questions, come and see me. If not, it's time to get started on your assignment.